Belisarius is one of history's most successful leaders, and thanks to this CK3 mod, we get to play as him. But we're gonna play this twice. Once, the first one historically accurate, dutifully helping out Justinian and loyally expanding the empire. Then, we're gonna wind back the clock, to when there were accusations that Belisarius was trying to set up his own state in North Africa. And we'll see if the last Roman can restore the Western Roman Empire. If you two yearn for Rome, make sure to like the video and subscribe, and I don't know, seek help, man. Today, we're going to be playing as one of the greatest generals of all time, Count Belisarius over here, who served under Justinian. And we also have John the Cappadocian. This is a relative who's who of, uh, of sort of uh, Byzantine history, and indeed Roman history. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if we can replicate any of what Belisarius was able to do, uh, at the same time attempting to dodge, I suppose, the machinations of Justinian. So, brief history lesson, uh, and I'll, I'll make it very, very brief. Uh, Justinian uh, rules over this, this area and would expand the Roman Empire. They would conquer much of North Africa and also Italy back for the Roman Empire. He would also um, have a cast of incredible characters uh, such as uh, John the Cappadocian who's over here. He also had, and I can't remember his name and I feel terrible about it because this individual created, uh, codified all of the Roman laws, which was a big issue at the time, and did it to such a high degree that this was you know, what, 1,500 years ago. To this day, most of our laws is based off of what this man did. Uh, so you had an all-star cast of phenomenal uh, players. I'm a little bit upset that Justinian doesn't have more intrigue. His wife has a good amount of intrigue. Um, uh, Theodora would uh, famously be a, uh, a dancing girl or a prostitute that uh, Justinian would take uh, as his wife. Uh, she would also be the one that, that during the Nico riots would refuse to surrender and refuse to be deposed. She said she'd rather die in the purple, which is fair enough. It steeled everyone, shamed everyone into staying. Um, over here we have uh, the Vandals in North Africa. The Vandals came from over here. They migrated down here, raided, uh, sacked Rome in 432, and then came all the way around through the Visigoths and eventually settled in North Africa, which again is something that Justinian wanted to take care of. Over here in the Ostrogoths, um, Alathic is going to die, uh, and he would leave behind a very, very young heir, which whose mother would then appeal to Justinian to come and intercede on her son's behalf. Uh, over here we have some Gepids, uh, even though the Gepids are also over here. There's there's a lot of interesting stuff. We also have the Sasanian Empire, uh, Khosrau, who incredibly usually don't get two empires at the same time, having uh, very, very uh, good leaders, but uh, Khosrau uh, would be in his own right a phenomenal uh, leader uh, and would campaign and invade the uh, Eastern Roman Empire, Belisarius would turn up and both armies were defeated by plague. But that conflict would set up the rise of Islam in a hundred years time from the Banu Quraysh tribe over here. There's also loads of really cool things going on over here that I really can't go get into but the Merovingians are about to rise up. These things are, are okay, you know what, I'm gonna ignore that. That's gonna be for another time because I studied this um, area for two years um, in, to in terms of the Merovingians. Uh, and uh, Austrasia, which is not Austri uh, Austria, it's Austrasia and uh, Neustria. It's, yeah, pretty cool. So historically, Belisarius was incredibly uh, loyal to Justinian, despite the fact that he was constantly accused uh, of stirring things against him. Justinian was incredibly paranoid, uh, as you can see there. We're not gonna be as loyal to Justinian as Belisarius was in real life. In, in fact, in Belisarius, this is just turning into a history lesson, I swear, we'll get to gameplay soon. Belisarius was offered the crown of the Ostrogoths during his campaigns. Um, he accepted it and then turned that crown over to Justinian, as was his right. That's the closest just that, that um, Belisarius ever came to sort of intrigue and trickery. He didn't, he really generally stayed away from that and was called like the last true Roman. And uh, in return, Justinian would eventually strip him of his, well, I'm not sure how exactly it went down, but he would retire even though, like because Justinian was, and specifically Theodora, Theodora was uh, really upset at him and constantly thought that he was going to be uh, overthrowing her. After the Nika riot, she fit, she uh, was a lot more friendly towards him because he led 300 men against 30,000. We are going to do something else. We're going to cast our vote for ourselves. He's a manipulative demagogue with high diplomacy. I don't know if Belisarius would ever be called. Manipulative though was his wife <laughs> would basically take all the correspondence from Belisarius and send it over to Justinian. I'm afraid, gentlemen, that despite everything, I am still a history nerd. <laughs> I've just received notes from the Emperor commanding me to lead an expedition to retake North Africa from the perfidious vandals. While great on it also comes with heavy responsibilities. Yeah, he would do very, very well. Oh God, my title. What happened to me? Oh God, I'm now just the Count of... That's now my job? Oh dear, okay. It's worth noting as well that Belisarius uh, conquered the vandals with very, very little, uh, very little troops. 
uh, and did it relatively, like, he came as a liberator. Position of spy master, you're putting, sure, you're gonna put Belisarius as spy master of the Roman Empire. Questionable. And we've immediately won. Cool. That works. I can't imagine that this, I'm gonna be able to keep these. But we've immediately conquered areas. With the Diocese of Africa, which, by the way, uh, also led to Belisarius being recalled. This is just a history lesson that's, that's disguised as this. Um, would be recalled because someone faked uh, a letter saying that um, Belisarius was looking to form his own kingdom. This happened a lot to him. I want to move my capital to Tunis. The culture shouldn't be vandal here. It really shouldn't be because the people here were, were very much not vandal. Like you had a weird, like very few t times in history do you have um, a, oh God, here we go. Just in his doubts, after conquering the vandals, uh, in the name of the emperor, you've been busy reorganizing the province and securing local a loyalty of local power brokers in the midst of these affairs comes the most unwelcome surprise as someone's from Justinian. In efforts, it purports to offer a choice between remaining governor of Africa or returning to the uh, capital for a triumph, but the subtext is clear. If we remain in Africa, I'll be viewed as an upstart and rebel. Re and rebel, not rebel. So we lose loyal, lose calm, we gain ambitious. We're gonna, we're gonna play through some crossroads here. So we're gonna like play but through this as Belisarius would and then we're gonna go back and make the the other decisions I think all right we're off home we're now of Trapani apparently that was the beauty of Justinian he wouldn't just like declare people traitors he would do this whole thing oh god here we go we're fighting the goths now he would do this whole thing where he's um uh where he's like oh well you can you can stay as a governor or you can come home for a triumph which hasn't been granted in uh many many years uh and then obviously you, you can't disagree with them. Okay, we are outnumbered here. I like how it's me personally fighting them as well. Right, do we go for the historical route? The historical route, they went for Neapolis f uh, first, and they went for Rome, but I think I'm gonna go straight for Rome. I think I'm just gonna take the casualties on the chin, because I'm hoping that'll just trigger the victory. It did not. Let me check. How are... What are these these guys? Nice, we did it. We won. This isn't anything like the campaigns that happened, but here we are. All right, we've joined the Gothic Wars and attacker again. <laughs> what's going on over there? Corsica's fighting. I'm just gonna ignore that. So what's going on here? Independence war. Well, well, well. Would you look who declared independence? Huh? Not me, Justinian. Okay, this time it's against the Goths themselves. Um, uh, during this war, uh, Justin, uh, sorry, Belisarius would be undermined at every single point by other generals, um, which would start to lead to him alienating a lot of the court. Like he objectively knew best, but uh, everyone else was a little bit jealous. I'm gonna go straight for the capital. What's the war goal here? Wait, is it based on my war um, participation? Oh my god, the Holy Thorn. All right, I gotta win before I run out of troops. All right, we'll go and help out, and I imagine we're not gonna get the uh, the, the credit for that, because Belisarius never gives us the credit. Jesus Christ, he's summoning a lot of troops. Again, none of these are under my control. All right, we've been rescinded as a spy master, and we have, we have lands, even? Okay, no, we are. We've got the diocese over here. Spy master needs some room I need to actually get my uh, kids married off. I don't think Justinian would like that if I were to marry off my daughter to Khosrau. <laughs> and there's the conquest of the Eastern Roman Empire. I don't think they were this quick. I know that, that um, Belisarius was an expert fighting for a prophet. Okay, uh, 533 to 534 was the Vandal one, that's fine. 535 to 554 was the uh, the Gothic war. It was good because it was the uh, the Vandal war that spurred the whole, let's maybe go and conquer the Western Roman Empire thing. Why is pregnant? Might not be mine. Okay, the Ostrogoths are fighting for their independence. Oh my God. I've got a son. That that didn't... Well, sure. I'm curious as to how much of this is going to be like Hannibal all in my enemies. I don't know if we should say anything about Hannibal bait, to be honest. Ah, John the Armenian. Nice. Right now, I'm just sort of sitting around waiting for the story, if that makes sense. Uh, I like, I'm not... I, I'm t I don't really want to push it too far. Oh, okay. Like, my rival's dead. I thought, I thought Justinian had died. I was very upset for a second. They died within months of each other, I'm pretty sure. Like a year of each other. Belisarius went first in March six, uh, 565, and then Justinian in November that year. It was like a really poetic time. Like all these characters like colliding in, in, in the like best possible way uh, for an empire that by all rights, maybe not should have been on the decline, but did no right to be able to conquer this land back and reform how it, well it was. This set up the the um, the Byzantine Empire for surviving another thousand years. So let's start conquering some things. Wait, I, I don't think I can declare war on another imperial province. Ugh. We'll see how this storyline goes. <clears throat> Both of them had like 10 years left and then we'll go the alternative route. Fantasy Legacy, obviously House of Warriors. What will happen to the House of Belisarius? I genuinely don't know. Okay, so I was trying to find out and the, the number one thing on Google was, um, a Quora thing saying, who is Belisarius and why did he not become emperor? Chuck in the Belisarius house banner over here and over there. Get some symmetry going. Uh, I have the Hasding house banner. I don't know who I got that from. Got the Holy Thorn. That's quite nice. Chuck that there. The Axe of Suburbica. That, I mean, it looks like a 
Oh, it's a poet work of poetry, okay. I'd say I don't really look like an axe, but whatever. Uh, where are these? Okay, there's 87 men over here in Malta. I'm a deviant? Oh, less and less time to spend with me, a dear friend. Well, yeah. Nah, man, there's no, no shot we try and... If we do that, they'll be really upset. So let's, let's just say we've done, because like, yeah. What? Why are we a deviant? I don't think Belisarius was ever a deviant. I've really gone ahistorical here. It's a crime to my emperor. Sorry, being a deviant is a crime to the man who who set up rendezvous with other men so he could watch them with his wife. I think not. Why is the Visigoths here? What the hell happened here? Dear Derek of the Merovingian, I can fight the Visigoths. Well, I can't order Clover from tributaries because I don't even know what that means. We'll go after Fez first. Permanent tributary. I will have myself a tributary. This area belonged to the Roman Empire, so it now belongs to me. Why is Syracuse so small? Why is Syracuse a rural village? It's Syracuse. You know, one of the largest... Uh, whatever. It's fine. I have to be careful because some of these troops are never coming back. Oscar is now my vassal. It's just the Balerys now. I need to uh, declare a whole separate kingdom. It's nice. I can just right-click on them. The old office. Oh, no. I'll leave it to the will of the people, which has, in this mod has historically never gone well for me. But it seems cool. Okay, sweet. Enforce demands. We've got Gallant, so it's only 93%. Why is Africa independent? What did you do? Just in the end. What the hell this is? A Daga. The shield. This is SPQR. Even though it's a Berber shield. I'm surprised we haven't fought Khosrow. Brave, just, and diligent. Those are wonderful traits, if I might say so myself. Time I press my claim to the Duchy of Sicilia. I don't know that I did that. But I asked Justinian, you know, I'm not going to ask Justinian to help me write a memory. He'll probably imprison me. Mm, they would camp oven bearers for how hot the heart, heavy armor would you get during the battle. These whole soldiers attempt to take the tactics of the Parthians and Persians making the use for the Romans. Sounds cool. Those, that's what um, Belisarius was all about, really. You like that. Court of holy devotion. I'll take it. Sounds cool. But an ally of the assassin and ever. <laughs> Once Belisarius um, retired, he'd, he'd fight one final battle. Basically, some guys were threatening, uh, a couple of thousand horsemen were threatening uh, Constantinople. So Justinian calls on Belisarius one final time. Uh, and he does so with like 300 men. Uh, fights off the, the force. Tricks him into thinking there's a lot, of, there's many more troops than there actually were. And uh, takes him out. What the hell? Carthage of Genesis. Carthage! <laughs> At this point, dude, this is still... Looking a little bit with the Canaanite. So I just beat the Byzantine uh, Empire. Had pretty much everything that we have now, apart from a bit more of southern Spain. Oh, so we had this stuff. We ha should have stuff here that we took from the Visigoths. Okay, I'll, I'll join your wedding, buddy. I'm surprised that you've outlived just died from her wounds. Who wounded her? You married a 19-year-old. She's 74. Apparently she died in 548, so she's outlived it. All right, well, they're married. Well done, I guess. He's leading troops. Ah, uh, there's Neustra. The Merovingians would be passed around like trophies. Um, if you had a little pet Merovingian king, uh, you basically had the right to rule. So it was the mayor of the palace um, of Neustra um, that would have the real power. Um, so wars between the mayors of the palace of Austrasia and the mayors of the palace of uh, Neustria, and the winner... Uh, basically uh, determined who would control um, what was essentially Frankia. So at this point, the Merovingians are still uh, relevant, but later on they would, uh, yeah, decline quite a bit, uh, which would lead to the line of uh, Charles the Hammer Martel, uh, which I know people upsets people when I say that because they're like, oh, well, what you're saying is Charles the Hammer the Hammer. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, but it sounds cooler in English, which is the language I'm using right now. So I'm going to say that. Who would stop the uh, Muslim advance in 732? over here and that would also leave uh like go over to charlemagne the thing is about the charles the hammer martel is that he had a really interesting story where uh he was constantly like i guess bullied you could call it um like he fought kind of defensively quite a lot i've got disputed heritage because people i lost a jewel and now everyone even though i'm 60 everyone thinks that this other guy is actually belisarius apparently justinian's gay but yeah like charles the hammer martel he, he lost one battle and then would never lose again he was also a bastard i think he waited until after his wife died to become a green supporter she was an ardent blues one there you go oh and there he is my son is a corrupt and unjust man fantastic but that is the end of belisarius like we said things went a little differently we decided well justinian you're you're doubting me and i don't quite like that what if we repaid his ingratitude in kind actually justinian leaving the troops as well huh who's this given our mutual oh my god we could become friends with theodora i'm gonna sit here and let him hurt himself because he's running out of supplies he's gonna keep falling back who's this are the visigoths planning an ambush on me well i'll take your land later now where's he going he is starving to death he's running straight for my capital i went to the last possible moment look at that all of these troops dying oh you've made a mistake here buddy oh 
My god, we got him. I can kill him? Who's his heir? The son, but I mean, I'll lose the, the thing, so, hmm. But there we go. Our independence. Okay, we need prestige and we need piety. Because we're going to be punching far, far above our weight when it comes to fighting. Wait, I can restore the great Kothon of Carthage. Oh my god, this is like all of my laps in one. We're going to participate in this. All right, we're going to sit here and train the entire time. The winner will marry... What? I don't want to do that because I kind of... That would be awkward. Yeah, I don't want to sabotage people to win. <laughs> In the first round. Well, that sucks. Uh, 600 prestige. Session Sicilia is not happening. I could just sell Sicilia. The valuable province. I don't want to sell it. Cure the Mediterranean. You get Masters of the Mediterranean. Well, it's going to cost me a thousand. Eh, I want to do it, but not right now. All right, he's going after the Ostrogoths in the Ostrogothic War. It isn't so good for me. Okay, so it looks like this man has been killed by <laughs> Theodora. So, oh, a guy invited me here to steal from me. I'm going to give him money. He's a 40-year-old woman. I'm not sleeping with him. Corto Jackio never, no longer responds directly to me. Oh, oh yeah, I handed it over. Do I get the money back from that or no? Or no, we'll get a house of warriors, obviously. It's Belisarius after all. All right, we finish our grand tour with a bunch of prestige. All right, now we can, we can restore individual provinces, but we still need to get a higher uh, in order to do whole... Like Grand Province. We're going for Carthagenesis right now. Go straight for Carthago Nova. In fact, we'll land right on their heads. Got ourselves a Visigothic War Banner. Let's start sieging. Oh, they've come back. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll win the siege and then immediately collapse on them again. We're going to ask Theodora, who we rebelled against, to uh, to help us with some investigations. That's kind of funny. We're spending a lot of money each time to try and defend this land. And there he is. He's dead. He died from his wounds. Justinian is dead. Sabatus is the heir. I don't allow him to take that. I'd like, I don't want to spend 60 each time. He is a stag antler. That's cool. Also, Mjolka, like has the ability to defend himself here, and I'm not sure why he's not. Cheeky peasant uprising, that's fine. Good, be done with this war soon, and I can go home and deal with the peasant's revolt. And we are so back. I only have seven provinces. I don't know where, though. There we go. All right, first little excursion is done. We're getting close to this whole exalted amongst men thing. So what other stuff do I need? I need, obviously, to fight the Ostrogoths. Campania, Venetia, Ravenna. It's fine. Liguria, Apulia, Amati. Yeah, all of this is just Ostro uh, Ostrogothic. So if I were to fight him for Italia, I'd still need um, this area, right? Yeah, I'd still need Dalmatia. So let's declare off with Dalmatia right now. Presumably he's too busy fighting the, uh, the Byzantines. And that's where he is. There's a chance he would just steal him. Yeah, quite happen though. That's fine. We'll go take uh, Dalmatia itself. Take out his troops. I'd have been fighting against you on the Byzantine side in another life, my friend. But for now, we just want Dalmatia. That was a rather easy war. Procopius! I love this guy. He's the one that wrote the history of it, of, uh, of this, uh, of the Belisarius. I'm right, having a mild kerfuffle over here, which is good because it's going to lead to the, the uh, destruction of everyone who's a non- Roman. They've unified their forces over here, but that should be fine. Where's he retreating to? Surely they have to fight me. They're gonna go up there, aren't they? Got some guys on my side here, which is nice. If you're on my, if you're on my side, I'll let you go. He likes me, and he's now Chalcedonian. Well, that's a big army gone, and now we're just waiting on the other army to turn up. It looks like he did beat the Ostrogoths, so he's demanding that I send my daughter? Really? You went over there? Okay, I've gotta wait for 200 men. This entire insurgency is led by 200 men. Kinda of fitting we have to fight the Roman Empire, the Eastern Roman Empire, to do the Western one. Yeah, that's fine, we can deal with you in a sec. Alright, we won on 80%. How do we won on 80%? Peacemaker, stalwart culture. Cool, so who's fighting me now? I'll quickly take this back. Could be literally no one here. I was wounded, apparently. Nice. And we've got 100% in force demands. Sit tight for a second. We've got ourselves... We need to fight the Eastern Roman Empire. What? Who? What? Who are you? Why Why are you here? How's Fu? Bit of a strange one, but okay. All right, who's in my prison then? Revoke the Duchy of Sardinia. Going through and revoking the title. What? Okay, some of these guys I can't revoke titles from. Also, I can't revoke two. This, like, I can only revoke one. I'm not sure why. Like, they, they're still rebels. The key part is I can't allow all this stuff to be unified like it was before. And do I have too many duchies? I do not. I mean, it's worth this, isn't it? The Prince Archbishopric of Valencia. Might as well. Literally no downsides. The has now become my best friend. Oh, man. You know what Justinian would hate? <laughs> oh, she's too far away to interact with. I was gonna, I was gonna invite her to my court. Best friends with Theodora. Truly the most cursed timeline. Well. Oh. Theodora's dead. I thought my wife would die, but it was just Theodora. <laughs> and I have heartache because of it. In honor of her, I'm I'm, I'm going to sleep with a woman. What she would have wanted. There we go. Take the land. Damn, I'm ransoming everyone. Sorry, you want me to duel, you want me to duel you for it? I don't... What the hell? <laughs> this feels wrong. The 16-year-old girl. I think we almost lost that. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> okay, we're 50. We do need to start... Cracking on with this. We're gonna holy war for Fez. Unify our lands a little bit more. We can't make this as quick as the other ones. Sorry, instantly stack wiped them. There's not words that you hear often in uh, CK3. But <laughs> here we are. Above our domain limit. Why? Oh, Clemson. So we can still increase the size of our men at arms. Not exactly the strongest in the world. It's just 
Belisar is an insane commander. There we go. Okay, we are above. Okay, the Ostrogoths are independent and we're above our uh, limit a little bit. So we need to start creating some duchies. This is going to give us a lot of prestige. We just don't have the money for it right now. I think it's the best way to get prestige, to be honest, is this. Right, it's a nice, easy way to get money. There are some troublesome individuals running around, but that's good. That's fine. All right, some claimant. It's not a grand wedding because I promised to. All right. Gotta create more of these duchies and hand them out. Grant title. Mauritanius. I can't even say that. Pizarinus. Oh, we're exalted amongst men. Nice. Okay, perfect. So now we step to the Ostrogoths. The grand restoration of Italia and Anaria. Looks like everyone like jumps up with me. It's great. Now look at the boys turn up to fight. Okay, they've just left their lands completely undefended. That seems stupid. Wait, I've done the exact same thing. Okay, that's <laughs> that's kind of... <that's, laughs> It's kind of ironic. No, stop demanding hostages from me. I'm pretty sure we can siege fasten them, so. Nice, I can catch them early. Looks like I'm gonna have to defend it immediately afterwards. Maybe? I don't know. 88%. I'll gather some supplies. Okay, if he's going down there, I need to get ready to defend down there. Or just fight him again. And there we go. That's a hefty chunk of the empire. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna... Right. You ready? Oh, San Marino's the thing. We're gonna need to speed up the footage here, because I've got a lot of organizing to do. Okay. To wait for a little bit to get the money to be able to facilitate what comes next. Creating vassals over on top of that. Uh, Friulia is the next one we got to do. Okay, so all this stuff should be decentralized, but then also centralized. So many different pop-ups, Christ. I don't like conquering these areas. The most inconvenient thing is after the fact, uh, where I have to sort out the entire realm. I need more gold, basically. I guess it's time we adopted autocratic ways, to be honest. I've got most of the stuff that I want to do. Probably get absolute control and then oversee it, and then I'll switch over to a health focus. And someone's trying to kill me. Oh, okay. The Ostrogoths have migrated. They declared a migration cast, but I actually won, so they've headed over there, which leaves behind these areas. I'm going to. I think going autocratic has actually given me more troops. Oh my god, that was a quick one. <laughs> actually too quick, because uh, it means I now have to sort out this stuff instead of actually playing the part of the game that I want to do, which is fighting. I like the fighting. I don't like, you know, the, the this. <laughs> I mean, I guess we just keep going, right? Oh, Calabria's in two separate pieces. That's annoying. Okay, well, it's Holy War for Calabria, I guess. The Ostrogoths have declared war on me. The Dalmatia. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that soon. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I've got another best friend dead. Oh, God. This is not good. Okay, so we're now in three wars. My best friend died, and someone tried to kill me. Being raided as well. But Paul's giving me two ducats, so that's nice. All right, we won in... Calabria. That's two down. All right, and we fight the Ostrogoths. Go straight for the capital. God, people are still trying to kill me. It's fine. There we go. And you just need to take the bishopric back to make sure we get taking war score. There we go. It gives us enough money to go ahead and do this. Great, two new kingdoms. Okay, we need Campania, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, God, someone tried to kill me. My vassal, knight, and rival. Okay, I'll challenge him to a fight. I mean, I beat him. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> I think it's time we siege Cam seize Campania. Okay, what are you? Oh, that's just the province of Campania. Are you fighting Rome in the war against the tyranny? That's perfect for me. Wonderful. There you go. You go do something about that. And I need to be wary of those 5,000. First important battle, and it's gone well, though it did actually hurt a lot. And we lost a leg in it. <laughs> Being raided, that's fine. Don't care about those lands. And we have Rome. That's why we took attrition. He took it back. I didn't realize. Every time I make friends, they always die and leave me alone. All right. He's going to come and land now, isn't he? All right. Fine. Let's spread out a little bit. Can catch him there? We can. Someone died in that battle. Not sure who. I think it was my steward. I'll fight Minneapolis. I'll take the the casualties to to fight that one and that's another siege done this could do it right here it does we've taken Campania. no oh, you don't like me do you dalmatia and apulia i just holy war for a kingdom seems like a good idea to me he's in debt as well all right let's go straight into his capital just see what we can grab our cat's dead it's unfortunate but it's the way of things nip in here we smashed up his army one battle might actually do it for us not quite okay i don't want to start losing tons of men so we'll sit down for a little bit like that's how everyone starts declaring war at the same time as well as rebels rising up there we go ostrogoths are finally put to bed by my hand all right let's use up dalmatia and give it to our most loyal man I immediately select or selected a treacherous villain we have a truce for three years and then we go after Puglia calabria oh the lionheart guy got uh chucked out so where's justinian justinian there you go he's over here but he didn't have any kids no that's like okay that's justin this is justinius yeah okay cool he did have kids just one of them died under mysterious circumstances the other one is somewhere he's a comez or something oh by the way you might be wondering why i'm not upgrading this is because i don't have the ability to i have to have the maritime mercantilism or at least uh the vandal culture has to if you're wondering this is what the culture looks like we have lots of afro romans here our romans hispano romans are still 
Romans. And then religious wise, where are you? Chalcedonian has taken root. Go to Western Europe. That's that's the extent. Uh, let's just whack everyone up to massive. Might as well have got the money for it. And I've got max amounts of uh, men at arms. In the meantime, should we go after the Visigoths? That always makes me happy. Because the wars I could do over here are just seizing duchies. So I might as well go for an imperial province. Like this. Guys, what the hell happened here? There's a load of people involved now. I think all of my, I've increased my, so I'm now autocratic, right? And I've got high imperial authority. So I think that means that people are going to come in and, and help me. I could also form my own empire at this point, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to go reclusive just to try and stop myself from suffering mental breaks. There we go. Oh Christ, no. And now we do the organizing, right? Cue the sped up footage. However, it is nice because this time around I have the money to be able to sort out the whole direct vassal thing. What the hell? Severe penalty. Because <gasps> I'm ambitious. That's what's killing me. I don't like giving away land. That's the stupidest thing. We physically can't keep hold of it. I was wondering why I was so stressed out. I could build a own bathhouse and I'm going to visit it. When it Im import some amber. Still above the direct vassal limit. Mm, not good given that I don't think that there are any more duchies I can create. Oh, there's Corsica. I know the Corsicans hate me. It's like the one area I've been nice to. Right, that's the realm sorted for a little bit. You've been imprisoned by who? Oh, you, you've also imprisoned her. How's Hosrao doing? He's doing all right, you know. I don't think he's done too much, but he's got a lot of money and he's got 20,000. Oh, Christ. Troops. I mean, if he decided to head west, it'll be a bit screwed. I'm a bit surprised he hasn't gone for it. Amethyst, silver necklace. Oh, I can do it, actually. Okay, we are outgunned a little bit, but that's fine. Gathering point, rally point. There we go. Over here. Chuck it in the south, raise all armies. Let's go quickly. He's usually involved in some sort of war. Oh, another dynasty legacy. Uh, generation belligerence, why not? That's what we are. Oh my god, there's 8,000 troops. Do we fight him? Honestly, I don't think so. Like, we're in the area we need to be. If he's coming now, then we need to... Oh, that's a hell of a fight. What did we inherit? The Duchy of Venetia. I do not want that. Good little scrap there. Catch him at some point. Another victory. We're not getting sieged anymore, are we? Uh, maybe we'll be soon, but for now we're good. 84. Again, just keep crushing him every time he turns up. And that's a stack wipe. Wonderful. All right, in fact, we'll send the army that doesn't have any siege engines to go and see. It doesn't matter. 90%. There we go. And that means that we can reunite the Western Empire. It's not the prettiest empire on earth, but we are so back in Victor. Once again, the eagle has risen from the ashes. Rome thrives under my aim. My name. My law stretched the mighty Carthage and the bustling cities of Africa to the beautiful cities of Italia and Anaria from Sicily to Dalmatia. The heartlands of the empire once again reunited from the glorious city of Rome. We will start a new age of light. You know, and we can reclaim Rome. I mean, Carthage has done really well as our heartland, but we can reclaim Rome. That is now our new capital. Also secure the Mediterranean. We can also then go ahead and restore the Roman Empire. But I think we are done for today. Ooh, diocese. Okay, Hispania said, okay, that'll, that'll integrate all of those. Cool. Excellent. Well, that's what happens when uh, you disobey Justinian, I suppose. We now have the Eastern and Western Roman Empire, bitter rivals for sure. Uh, the Sasanians, though, absolutely chilling. Uh, if you want to see more of uh, Crusader Kings 3 and uh, potentially some Roman stuff, what I would love to do, and I'll show it now, is play some of these other start dates in 532, like uh, King Clothar or uh, Theodoric or Childebert, all of this lot that would create the Merovingians. There's also the potential to go for the Vandals or Ostrogoths themselves as well, try and resist. Uh, there's a lot of really interesting times around here. Uh, so, if, so, if, so if that's something you want to see, please do make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And also have your vote by liking and subscribing. Those chaps, I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on it.